everyone welcome to my youtube channel ncrt math sub today in this video we will do worksheet number 44 for class 10 subject mathematics so students in this video we are going to learn about the properties of tangent to a circle so try to recall and answer first in a right angle triangle abc ac is perpendicular to bc then by using pythagoras theorem dash equals to dash plus bc square so you can see here ac is perpendicular to bc so in AC and BC, we have common vertex as C. So right angle will be at point C. So you can see here, we can form a right angle triangle in which C is right angle. So that AB square will be, AB square will be equals to AC square plus BC square. So AB is here and AC is here. Now concentric circle have common dash. So the key concentric circle kya hote hai? the circle which have common center. So circles which have common center are known as concentric circles all the circle have common center so the answer is center so concentric circle have common center inka kya hoga center kya hoga common hoga so that answer is center and now sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so keep in mind sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so now theorem number one the theorem that states that the tangent to a circle at any point is perpendicular to the radius of circle that passes through the point of contact. So, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent through point of contact. So, now we have given a circle with center O and a tangent XY to a circle at point of contact P. So, we need to prove that OP is perpendicular to tangent XY. So, that in the proof part you can see take another point Q on XY tangent other than P and join OQ. Join kar dijiye OQ ko. So now the point Q must be lie outside the circle and if Q lies inside the circle then XY will become a secant not a tangent to a circle. If Q lies inside then XY will become secant not the tangent. So therefore OQ is longer than radius OP of circle. So that's why we can say OQ is greater than OP. OQ kya hoga greater than hoga OP. So since this happens for every point on the line xy except point p so op is the shortest of all the distances to the point o to the point of xy so op is perpendicular to xy so op will be shortest in all distance from taken from all the, all the points on xy other than point p on xy so op is shortest distance and we all know that shortest distance is perpendicular distance so we can say op is perpendicular to xy op kya ho jayega perpendicular to xy ho jayega so now theorem number two the length of tangents from an external point to the circle are equal in measure so we need to prove that the length of tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are in equal measure so you can see we have two tangents pa and pb are the two tangent to a circle with center o from an external point p we need to prove that PA equals to PB. So in the proof part, we have a given circle with center O and point P lying outside the circle and PA and PB are the two tangents on the circle from point P. So now join OP, you can see here and OA and OB. So now we have two triangles that is OAP and similarly here OBP. So in triangle OAP and OBP, we have angle OAP and OBP as right angle. OP, OP as common and OA equals to OB, the radii of circle. This, these two triangles, OAP, this one and OBP, these two triangles are congruent to each other by RHS rule. So that we can say o, AP will be equals to PB. So that is by using CPCD. So these two triangles are congruent by using RHS rule and by CPCD we can say AP equals to PB. That is the two tangents are of equal measure. So now we have few problems, those are solved. So we can see example number one here. If TP and TQ are the two tangent to a circle with center O, as you can see on the screen, that POQ equals to 110 degree, then find angle PTQ. So given OP is the radius of circle to the tangent PT and OQ is the radius of circle to the tangent TQ. So now angle PTQ we need to find so proof in proof in the same way OP is perpendicular to PT and TQ is perpendicular to OQ that is the tangent to a circle at any point 
is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact so therefore opt equals to oqt equals to 90 degree so now in quadrilateral poqt by angle sum property sum of all angle will be 360 degree so ptq plus poq plus opt plus oqt equals to 360 degree so that is sum of interior angles of quadrilateral is 360 degree so now putting all the values here and we will get ptq equals to 70 degree so now proceed for example number two that is in figure AB is called of circle and AOC is the diameter. We have AOC as diameter and AB as chord such that ACB is angle 50 degree. And if AT is tangent, here AT is tangent to a circle at point A, then find angle BAT. We need to find angle BAT. So now you can see we have given AOC as diameter of circle so that angle ACB will be 50 degree. And here B AT we need to find so angle ABC you can see if AOC is diameter so we all we all know that angle in semicircle is right angle so angle ABC will be 90 degree diameter subtends 90 degree at circle so angle in triangle ACB by angle sum property A plus B plus C equals to 180 degree so we can find angle A and that is of 40 degree हमें angle A मिल जाएगा 40 degree का और we can say angle OAB equals to 40 degree since AT is tangent to a circle at point A therefore OA is perpendicular to AT so that OAT will be 90 degree so that OAB plus BAT equals to 90 degree or we get BAT as 50 degree हमें BAT मिल जाएगा 50 degree so now proceed for example number 3 that is a quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to a circumscribe a circle prove that AB plus CD equals to AD plus BC so we have given a quadrilateral that is ABCD and we need to prove that the sum of opposite side that is AB plus CD equals to AD plus BC. So given a quadrilateral ABCD in which ABCD is drawn to circumscribe a circle, the lines AB, BC, CD and AD touch the quadrilateral ABCD at point P, Q, R and S respectively. So we need to prove AB plus CD equals to BC plus AD respectively. So you can see DR equals to DS. The length of tangent drawn from external point to the circle are equal. So therefore BP. So you can see what you have done. DR equals to DS. So this is equal to this one. Similarly this CR equals to CS. And similarly sorry CR equals to CQ. And similarly BP equals to BQ. And AP equals to AS. So add all these relations. So adding left hand side and right hand side of both equations. We get DP plus BP plus AP plus CR equals to DS plus BQ plus AS plus CQ and after adding you will get AB plus BC equals to CD plus AB. So this is the required result. So now we have some problems for practice you can see here. At any point on the circle tangent is always dashed to the radius of radius at point of contact. So tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So for in the first fill up there will be answer is perpendicular. So at any point on the circle tangent is always perpendicular to the radius at point of contact. So now second question and third question we will do here and the first one is at any point on the circle tangent is always perpendicular to the radius at point of contact. So now in the question number two, the two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm. Find the length of chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. So what do we do? Length of chord find out which is the larger circle and touch the smaller circle. Ko. So in the solution part you can see. We have given radius of smaller circle that is OT equals to R equals to 3 cm and radius of larger concentric circle that is OA equals to R equals to 5 cm. So now here AB is the chord of larger circle you can see here AB is the chord of larger circle and tangent to a smaller circle. So you can see here as tangent is perpendicular to the radius at point of contact we all know that tangent is perpendicular to the radius at point of contact therefore OT is perpendicular to AB so angle OATO or you can say OTA equals to OTB equals to 90 degree. So now in triangle ATO or you can say OTA by using Pythagoras theorem we can find AT. So AT square plus OT square equals to AO square. So this will be AT square equals to AO square minus OT square and that is capital R square minus small r square. So that put all the values here. Capital R is 5 cm square, 5 cm and small r is 3 cm. So 5 square become 25 and 3 square become 9. So that 25 minus 9 becomes 16. 
so 80 will be under the root 16 and that is plus minus 4 but we all know that dimension can't be negative so 80 equals to minus 4 will be rejected so 80 is equals to 4 centimeter so we also know that perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord and this we have learned this concept we have learned in the previous class that is class 9 so keep in mind perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord so that's why 80 equals to tb and that is 80 equals to tb equals to 4 so ab will be equal to twice of 80 and that is 2 into 4 that is equal to 8 centimeter so thus the length of common chord or you can say sorry length of chord or that is tangent to a smaller circle will be equal to ab equals to 8 centimeter keep in mind so now proceed for question number 3 that is if the tangent pa and pb from a point p to a circle with center o are inclined to each other at angle, angle of 80 degree then angle po a is equal to 50 degree 60 degree 70 degree and 80 degree so you can see here we have circle with center o and p's exterior point and forming two tangents pa and pb with the circles so you can see and the angle between two tangent that is a p b we have given as 80 degree so by using angle sum property of quadrilateral so here we have angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 equals to 360 degree so angle 1 is of 90 degree as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact and now angle 3 we need to find angle 2 is 90 degree again and angle 4 we are given at that is 80 degree so put all the values here and we will get angle 3 equals to 360 minus 260 and that is angle 3 equals to 100 degree and angle 3 is AOB so we can write it as AOB equals to 100 degree so now angle POA POA this one POA we need to find this angle so POA equals to half of angle AOB so half of 100 degree that is 50 degree thus the option A is correct answer Aap dekh sakte hai, 50 degrees option A thus we can say option A is correct answer and this is all about worksheet number 44 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching